Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video because of what someone sent me today. I want to help people spot a Hollywood production. Yes. So as we know, you know, with this whole Great Awakening thing, we have some agents out here that are being hired to put out truthful information, but for what purpose are they truly working? Now, you know, we know that the Smithsonian has been a great deception upon the world that was basically owned and operated by the Vatican, because most things are. But these different channels that are out here that are not organic, I'm going to show you how to spot them. Okay, so uh, somebody sent me a video regarding what they're finding out in the Grand Canyon. And of course, I've been following some other channels and I know that they've been finding some amazing artifacts, you know, Egyptian and things from India, because it was one world civilization during the Golden Age. That's what they call the Stone Age and they call it the Bronze Age and they call it the Iron Age. They call it all kinds of things. We're in the Iron Age. We're in the winter of consciousness. So what I'm finding though, and I start to question this, if you want to try to check the validity of a channel, Go and find out when they started their channel and then go look at the amount of subscribers they have. So they joined in September 16th of 2020, which I joined, you know, my channel in 2020. I started my channel in 2020 and I only have 2000 subscribers, but these people, 967,000 subscribers. Now look at also what this guy has to say. He says, thank you for checking out the Y files. I'm AJ, head nerd in charge. So he wants to seem like he's at your level. You might know me from Discovery Channel, which was BlackRock Inc. owned, Sirius XM, BlackRock Inc., A&E, BlackRock Inc., MTV, BlackRock Inc., and Joe Rogan, who is more than likely BlackRock Inc. associate. So I was watching him about what he's got to say of the Smithsonian cover-up. But that's not what I want to show you guys. What I want to show you guys is what a professional Hollywood production looks like. Number one, they're going to have this kind of backlighting thing because they want to illuminate and create a reflective light on the opposite side of someone's face with a soft illuminating light coming from another angle to therefore offset the face in an artistic manner. Now this is this is you know spot on Hollywood production. When you have something like this where the lighting is a certain way and then you have this kind of stuff in the background, this is a movie set. And then of course, you know, they're trying to make him seem like he's some sort of nerd. So they have all these props in the background that will never change. Typically, this stuff will never move because if it never moves and it's always the same, it's going to be a movie set. The actors never touch the prop. The, they're not props. They're, they're set dressing in the background. And these things will never move. So there's a book, a coffee mug, and then a hat. But always look for this type of lighting where it's, you know, you have your accent, your highlights. And then you have your core shadow, and then you have your reflective light. And most people don't do this kind of, you know, background thing because they don't know about it. Most of them. There are some people who have the knowledge of how to make a proper production, you know, very professional looking. But this whole thing is just staged. And then he has this little digital fish thing in the corner which is a cgi thing that he talks to from time to time and they put like a little you know animated mouth on it totally hollywood style now let's go look at some other channels so you can look at some other things so bright insight now i follow him although i you know i haven't subscribed with this uh this particular account I've been following him for a while because he talks about Atlantis. Now he's got 1.37 million subscribers and he joined in 2016. Is that a plausibility? Maybe, but 
I'm going to show you something else. Like, let's compare it to Rex Bear of Leak Project. Now, Rex Bear joined in 2012, and he has been putting up videos every single day for the past, I don't know how many years. He only has 405,000 subscribers. He does not have a million subscribers, which you would think he would. This is an organically grown channel. So I suggest that these people that have a lot of subscribers in a short amount of time are Hollywood production associates. They are being paid by someone to put information out. And a lot of this stuff is possibly people who are either in the CIA or they're in Hollywood. Somebody is paying them to put out these productions. And then people, you know, most likely donate as well so they're getting funded twice i just i i just want to raise this awareness on this because you know working in hollywood i have seen the way they put on productions the, the camera lighting and everything they use different light meters and you know angles for lights and different colored lights they use gels to cover the lights it's a big deal you know there's usually about 250 people on a crew if it's a, a good production, you know, something with a big budget. Um, so this, they, I feel like the, one of the things is, and I'm not saying that him specifically, like he's one of the agents. What I'm saying is that they are going to portray themselves as individuals who are on our team. But, you know, I just say, just be aware of some of this information that I'm bringing you. So let's just look at some of the lighting options on his channel. Okay, so in this, he doesn't have all the professional background like the other guy does, but at the same time, you know, maybe that it's portrayed as being a homemade thing. I don't know. Anyhow, I, like I said, I actually like this guy's channel. So I'm not knocking him. I just want to show some differences in some of these channels. And, you know, I suspect a lot of them are agents to try to collect consciousness. And I do know that they're, they're perpetuating the truth right now. But what is the agenda? Are they truly trying to help people awaken? Is there some faction of good? Yes, more than likely there's a faction of good that's trying to awaken people. But where do these people get all their subscribers? You know, organically grown subscribers don't have a lot of viewers and subscribers in a short amount of time. So this is just something to keep in mind. If you ever want to verify or you suspect a channel might have, you know, some sort of underlying agenda, you can just go to their about page and then check them out. You'll have to scroll around, go to their about, and then look at their, the date that they joined. That's going to be the dead giveaway. So I hope you like this video. Just wanted to raise a little awareness on how to spot a Hollywood production, and I'll see you next time.